Hey guys, and welcome to Rosa Scale. So it's been a long time coming, but you've been asking me about Zim Rider for what seems like a year and a half now. <laughs> and I do own a copy of uh, Zim Rider myself. So today, uh, what's in store is I will reveal the overall rating of Zim Rider within my Rider Watch directory. I will also give my personal opinion about Zim Rider. We will look at the output quality and measure the SEO score, the readability, and the AA detection. And finally, I will show you the product itself, how it looks like, what it does. So let's get started. So first of all, if you go to writerwatch.ai, ZimWriter has now been added. If you sort by rating from highest to lowest, as you can see, ZimWriter is currently occupying the last place. It does have a few very unique features, and I do believe that ZimWriter is a Swiss knife of an A writer with a lifetime deal. So that's very important. It does a lot of things. It does auto publishing, does bulk generation, has a connect to web feature. It does external and internal linking with its link back feature. It humanizes text to an extent with literary devices and auto voice. It does image generation via the API. It does require the API to work. It's pretty good at SEO keyword optimization. It has YouTube video embeds and yeah. So the reason for such a low score is as follows. I'm using the same keyword for all the AI writers. I'm using the uh, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and pretty much default settings within each tool, even though some of the tools can allow for amazing customization. So the SEO score was 65, as you can see here. And I actually like the article. I like the way it's flowing. The readability score is 12. And the AI detection score is only 7% human, with 0GPT, which is now my preferred method of evaluating humanized content. Now, of course, this doesn't end here. I'm using the YouTube rating based on YouTube testimonials and social rating based on Reddit. And uh, these are all used to adjust the overall score that we've gotten at this stage here. So this is 290. And yeah, the quality is quite high. So Cloud 3.5 Sonnet evaluated the quality of the content as 7.8. And if you want me to share the exact prompt that I'm using to evaluate the quality, let me know. Well, this is a pretty high quality, as you can see. It's pretty much on par with most of the AI writers here. It's pretty much the same as Harbor, same as Journalist AI, same as SEO writing, same as auto blogging, and it really loses only to Agility Writer and Collaborator. And if I'm not mistaken, one of the things that uh, the AI has noticed was the lack of statistical data or case studies. And of course, this can be adjusted via prompting, and uh, in ZimWriter they're called magic commands, but we are looking at the raw output, so to speak. Now, since uh, ZimWriter requires a Windows machine, which I don't possess, I'm using a VPS, and this is how the ZimWriter looks like. And the reason I haven't touched ZimWriter in so long is the interface. Uh, it's getting uh, more complex with every update. The opportunities are almost limitless, but it, it does take a huge learning curve. So what I did, and as you can see, there are lots of things that we won't go over over in this video, like the local SEO buffet, like the Penny Arcade, you know, like Link Toolbox, uh, which is basically a place where you store all of your links for internal and external linking. Uh, but what I did, I used the SEO Writer. Here goes the blog post title, which in our case was AI Impact on Jobs in 2024. Now I chose the default number of headings. Uh, I then have the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet as my default model. Then I generated the H2s using the AI only. Now then I chose a medium length voice second person. I used the search intent intro that I like. This is a feature that I love. About. So this is where basically your intro answers the question and hooks the reader. I chose the Nuke AI words for better readability, both to help readability as well. Then I had my key takeaways on. I did not use any advanced personalities, and there is 12 if I'm not mistaken. I did not use the auto style. And here I inserted all of my keywords from NeuroWriter. That was it, I think. So that was the basic setup. And then I ran my outputs, and, and it looks something like this. So actually, I did enjoy the article. The intro was perfect. Key takeaways takeaways, a table, and yeah, the only criticism that I would have is the lack of uh, data and case studies, 
because this is the topic that I chose on purpose that should contain a lot of statistical data and case studies and research, which it didn't. And uh, another thing I didn't really like about ZWriter is that uh, you have to have lots of other things for it to run properly. So you do have to have your VPS if you're not a Windows person, which I'm not. You do have to have your own API keys uh, for images and for text separately. You do have to subscribe to all scraper or whatever it's called to better scrape the uh, SERPs and have the YouTube embed option available. Here I'm saying that ZimWriter does have this option, uh, but yeah, you do have to have a separate program or a tool for that. Other than that, what I like about ZimWriter, it's amazing community. So they have surpassed 13,000 members and this is pure gold. So if you can somehow join this community without <laughs> buying the ZimWriter, uh, by all means uh, do, because the insights are incredible. People are sharing case studies. Um, people are discussing lots of advanced SEO techniques here. And it's very open, very giving and caring community, which I uh, fully advertise. And this is one of the best communities around a tool, if not the best community currently that exists on the, on the market. So I'm pretty much a part of many online communities and I think the ZimWriter community really stands out and shines. I don't think, again, this rating does ZimWriter justice, but I'm trying to be as uh, impartial as possible. There has to be a single basis for evaluation, so I'm using the default settings with the, most of the AI writers here. I'm trying to be as objective as possible. So again, this rating here, well, nothing is my opinion here. Everything is uh, just pure numbers. And again, even though ZimWriter is currently on the last place, I can fully back up this tool. This is an amazing tool. This is a powerhouse of a tool. Amazing value for money. And yeah, it doesn't have some of the features that the uh, more popular AI writers have. But at the same time, it does have a lot of features that none of the other tools have. So this is my ZimWriter review. Go check out writerwatch.ai. Join my newsletter to get the uh, Outline Genius GBD for free, to get the article samples as well, and weekly copywriting tips and tricks. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.